Good morning, my tubies, my Teletubbies. It's Sheila True Love. If you are new to my channel, it's nice to meet you. Like I said, my name is Sheila True Love. It's great to have you here. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that little notification bell so you'll know when I post a new video. Today's topic for discussion is the benefits of being single. Because, you know, the, the reason I chose or I choose to talk about this topic a great deal is because society and the world that we live in today, it keeps trying to pressure people into being in relationships or to get married. If you don't believe me, just go turn on your television and look at majority of the shows that you see. They're constantly have everyone who's in a couples or uh, are married and society teaches us. It teaches us at a very, very young age that to be happy, you must be in a relationship or you must be married. They try to make you feel like there's something wrong with you or they try to make you feel like, like you're an outcast just because you are happy at being single. You know, they say they have people who are happily married. Well, how about people who are happily single? So society shouldn't make you feel like something's wrong with you just because you choose to also trust what 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 8, 28, and 40 says. I know me, I rather trust God's word, the Bible, than what some uh, imperfect society has to say. And like I said, I focus on this topic a great deal, even though I have done videos on marriage, like where's my Boaz and how do you know whether God has chosen this person to be your uh, soulmate? Has God chosen this person as your marriage mate? I uh, made a video about that just recently. And um, I'm focusing on singleness more so because I prefer, to be honest with you, this day and age to see, uh, especially women, to be single, you know? Because I keep thinking about that 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 8, 28, and 40. You know, say, to me, staying single is the best route. And the only reason why the Bible really promotes getting married is for sexual reasons if you can't control your sex drive. Now, I have been married twice. And I was engaged to be married to someone I was with for nine years. I was engaged to be married. That would have been a third marriage. But thank God I dodged that bullet. Jesus Christ helped me to dodge that. And I'm so grateful when I look at how he turned out. And I've been on both sides, single and married. And trust me when I tell you my tubies, the Bible has never lied and is so right. Single is so much better because it's less stressful. And it's easier. I know for a fact that no adult that works a 40 plus hour job like I do, 40 hours or, 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 and a lot of overtime, when you come home, you don't want to come home to arguments. You know, you want to come home to peace. And I'm too busy right now enjoying my life instead of thinking about getting married. Also, when you think about the opposite of peace and relaxation is arguments, misunderstandings, jealousy, rage, abuse, agitation, being disrespected constantly, you're constantly fussing and fighting, worration, being upset and frustrated all the time. This is all you get these days in these, type, in these relationships and these marriages. If you don't believe me, look at the divorce rate and the separation rate. It's like 90%. It's just like the Bible says at 1 Corinthians, like I said, chapter 7, verse 28. If you get married, you will have a lot of trouble. Notice it says a lot of trouble. I know me. I work too hard, honey. When I come home, I want peace and tranquility. And I'm not going to waste my last good years stressed out. Think about your best years. 
How many of us have given our best years to our partners and into marriages and in relationships? Our best years was our 20s, our 30s, and our 40s. Think about it. When you hit 50 and above, those are your last good years. And I know for me, I'm not going to waste my last good years stressed out. The Bible tells you the uh, lifespan of humans is usually, hold on, let me get that scripture. Yeah, that's Psalms chapter 90 verse 10. And it tells you our days may come to 70 years or 80 if by mighty strength you endure. That means if you are healthy, then you have at least living up to 80. Yet the best of those years are trouble and sorrow for they quickly pass and we fly away. You know, so I know people who have lived in there. I mean, we, we all have heard better yet of people who have lived in their 20 their, uh, to a hundred, but that's far and in between. That is a very few people, very, very few people live past 80. When you live past 80 due to some special mightiness, then that is, that is wonderful. That's great. At the same time, I know that from 50 until at least when I'm what, 80, you're like 77 years old. These are my last good years. Okay. And, uh, with my last good years, the last thing I want to do is to have a lot of trouble. My life going forward two weeks is, is going to be peaceful and enjoyable. That's why, you know, if you're dealing with a lot of these trifling cockroaches, trailer trash, gutter trash, hood rats, you know, who's just a drain and who are abusive and treat you badly, it's time for you to tell them to goodbye. These are your last good years and they should be enjoyable. I thank my heavenly father that I'm no longer sleepwalking. I'm woke and I no longer believe, I no longer believe in fairy tales. I don't. <sighs>